All right, this tweet just came in, and it's from Donald Trump about the approval I guess he has for what is emerging from the House in terms of an economic reboot on Obamacare. He says this, our wonderful new health care bill is now out for review and negotiation and negotiation. Obamacare is complete and total disaster. It's imploding fast. But uh, Ainsley, it's up for negotiation. That's exactly right. So let's bring in Senator Rand Paul. I'm sure you're pleased that it is up for negotiation because I know that you weren't pleased with a lot that was in this bill. I know you've read it. It was released yesterday. What do you like and what do you not like about it? Well, I like the president's statement that it's up for negotiation, and I think those have begun. I spoke with the president yesterday, and I think he's open-minded on this. He wants Obamacare repealed like all conservatives do, but he realizes that conservatives have a lot of objections. The House bill that's been put forward is Obamacare light. It won't work. Premiums and prices will continue to spiral out of control. In fact, they acknowledge it in their own bill by putting an insurance company bailout, $100 billion at least in insurance company bailouts because the marketplace is still broken. They end up leaving the individual mandate. They do nothing to help the consumer join associations to bring prices down. So my replacement actually has some market reforms that would bring prices down. And people have to realize, they say, oh, well, you know, all over the liberal press, they're saying, oh, who's going to lose their insurance? They have to realize that people who have insurance can't use it now because it's too expensive on premiums, but way too expensive on deductibles. In a real marketplace, the higher your deductible, the lower your premium. We completely have broken the insurance marketplace, but I think Obamacare light doesn't fix it, and I think it's a real mistake to go for this, but the negotiation will be conservatives saying, hey, we're not going to take Obamacare light. Yeah, the other thing is, you guys can actually work things out. I mean, that's the way it used to get done. Maybe not everybody's 100% happy, but that's okay. OMB Director uh, Mick Mulvaney, who used to be a member of the Freedom Caucus, I think he helped found it, Uh, he has a different view. Listen to what he said said to us earlier, Senator. This is the Obamacare replacement plan that everybody asked for. It's the Obamacare replacement plan he promised when he ran, and we will get this through both the House and the Senate. In large part because of the efficiencies we drive into Medicaid. We give the states something that Republicans have wanted for a long time, which is we give the states more control over their own Medicaid dollars. That drives tremendous long-term savings. So not only do we think this is a way to give people health care that they can afford, it also helps our long-term debt situation. Senator, your take on that explanation? You know, I have some disagreement. What they build into Medicaid is a build in that Medicaid will expand at what's called CPI medical. This is an inflation index, which is going up at about 4%. If you introduce a new Medicaid expansion, or you allow it to continue, and you allow it all to grow at 4%, that's untenable. That's already our problem. We already have entitlements, Medicare and Medicaid, that are woefully underfunded and uh, and have enormous debt attached to them. I don't think having a permanent increase It's also going to increase if you increase people on it. So if California doubles the amount of people on Medicaid, they'll they'll spend more money and it'll go up at 4% a year. I don't think that's a realistic way to look at the entitlement programs. But more importantly, this plan keeps the Obamacare taxes for another year, keeps the Cadillac tax forever. It keeps an individual mandate, but here's the interesting thing. The, uh, the Obamacare right. light bill says that you will pay the penalty not to the government, but to the insurance company. This is in all likelihood unconstitutional and could destroy the whole repeal plan. So you're saying so, the tax break goes to the insurance company, so the tax credit will go to the insurance company that you choose, and that bothers is, you? No, this is different, not the credit. We're talking about an individual mandate that is a penalty. If you drop your insurance and then you want to buy it again, there is a penalty. Under Obamacare, you had to pay the government the penalty. Under Obamacare Lite, the House Leadership Plan, you will pay the penalty to the insurance company. This is in all likelihood unconstitutional. It's the individual mandate, but you pay your penalty not to the government, to a private insurance company. So much of their bill is a bailout for the insurance companies. Most of us are unhappy that the insurance companies have all the power. In my replacement bill, we take that power away from the insurance companies and give it to the consumer. This is Obamacare light. It will not pass. Right. Conservatives aren't going to take it. All right. Well, maybe we can change it so that it does pass. We can move on to other things and, and give health care, good health care, affordable health care to the American people. Absolutely. And the good thing about this is, Senator, is that I heard you say on some shows over the weekend that you don't want it to be like a Nancy Pelosi thing where you pass it and then you read it. Now you have it in your hands. You've read it. You can all hopefully compromise and work yeah, together. Go work on it. We're going to figure out something. Good deal. Right. Thanks, Thanks so much, Senator. Thanks. All right, uh, breaking-